So we've showed you how to create our famous masking transition tutorial in Premiere, Final Cut and Luma Fusion. So today's turn is in DaVinci Resolve. So stay tuned. Hey there, welcome to the channel. I'm Mark Brown from Editors Keys. Now, if you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel because we have a ton of videos all about filmmaking and video editing. Now, one of our most popular videos on the channel is masking transitions. And we've done that tutorial for Premiere and Final Cut. And as I say, it's super popular. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to do that same masking transition in DaVinci Resolve. So let's jump into it. So I've chosen these two clips here. And as I've said in the other masking videos, the only way this transition can work is if you choose a clip that has an object or a person covering the frame from top to bottom all the way through the shot, like this leaf here, for example. You can see it covers the whole frame from start to finish. So I can mask my other clip into this one. So grab the first clip and cut it where the object leaves the frame, like so. Then drag this clip onto the above layer. Now grab your second clip and then place it underneath your top clip and then place it around the spot the object just starts to come in. So kind of about here. Now we have the clips where we need them. The next step is to go to the color tab and the first thing you'll need to do is make sure you go to this section here. Then right click and click Add Alpha Output. Without this, your mask will not work. So you need this Alpha Output activated. So hold down on this blue square and then drag it over to this. So now that's activated, click this icon here to get you into the window section. Here you'll find the masking tool. Click this and then select this icon here. This will make sure you mask out everything you want to and make sure you can see what you're masking. Now, if you'd like a better view of your clip, click this icon here and then you can scroll to zoom in and out. Now use your arrow keys to go frame by frame and go to where it starts, so about here. Now you need to start keyframing. So under this here where it says corrector one, click this keyframe icon here. Now just draw and mask any shape so it fits the whole frame. So now you have to go frame by frame and make the mask work with the shape of the object. You can add more points to the mask by clicking anywhere along the line. So do this process until the second clip has completely taken over the frame. Now that's done, go into your Edit tab and see how it looks. Uh, so at the moment, it doesn't actually look that good. So you can always go back and redo parts of the mask. But don't worry, a little trick to improve this because you know we're using a leaf and not something that's a straight line, we'll have to add a bit more to make it look a lot smoother. So now go back into your color tab and add some softness on each keyframe. I'd say about a four is good. So there you go, that looks a lot better. You could probably finish with that one. Now to make it better, we can add a bit of speed ramping to make it more seamless. To add speed ramping to each clip, simply right click on the clip and then select Retime Controls. The shortcut for this is Command R. 
Now, go to the point where you want to add the speed ramp. Go to this drop down box here and then click add speed point. Now click on the second arrow and change the speed to your preferred speed. We'll change it to 200 for this example. And now that looks a lot better. So here's the final edit with a color grade and some sound effects. So there we go, what did you think of that? It's a real simple technique, but it can give you some really creative transitions. So when you're next out on a shoot, you can use this, or if you've got a shot where someone's maybe walked in front of your camera, or you have a vehicle, a bus maybe, you can actually use these to your advantage in your new videos and try and make a transition out of them. So I hope that's helped you. If you've got any questions at all, please leave them below because I promise we do get back to everyone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.